this is a back dub on a 2010 Malibu LT and it has the four cylinder in it but it should be the same for all the other engines or most of them um so first thing you gotta do you gotta take off the black shield which is right here it's like I don't know how many 10 millimeters and little clip things uh they're in there somewhere can't really see them but you'll see them on yours um you take those out and then you take this off it's just going to be sitting on top of the radiator but you're not going to be able to pull it from the top you got to pull it from the bottom so jack it up and everything um and with that access you'll have this gaping hole right here and the condenser is actually screwed onto the radiator by two 10 millimeter bolts and is held on from the top. So you gotta pull the radiator up a little bit so it latches off of the, oh, let me see if I can show you. Oh my God, my jack support in half of it. This side, uh, it's a 10 down there and then another one on the other side. And it's like a little, latch lip right here Let's see if I can try to get in there right there and whenever you get your new radiator just like match it up and this is the other side these are where those two little metal prongs slide into and then they bolt down there on both sides but um Undo the hoses, undo the trans cooler lines, which are the metal lines right here. It's two of them. The other one's down here somewhere, right there. But um, it's a metal tab on them. And yeah, I'm gonna have to find those metal tabs. But um, it's metal tabs on them that you basically gotta poke one end out like it's literally like a c-clamp in a way yeah, uh, that's a horrible thing to use it as I'm trying to see if i can find one of them because i had to work on it in the dark last night uh, no i don't think i can see them but it's going to be a little plastic cap on it and um on the trans cooler lines. And you slide that cap back and it's gonna be a little pin. You can get a flathead screwdriver and pry it out of there. And then you gotta wiggle around the um, the trans cooler lines a little bit. Cause this lip right here, right here, it's a ring, that little C clamp that I was talking about. It clamps on this side and holds it in. So you pry that out. And I know this is gonna be horrible by the way, like a horrible, informative video or whatever but I didn't find one so I'm making one and uh, after you take that clip out you wiggle it around a little bit and pull it straight out and it comes out easy you just got to make sure it's positioned right if it's not coming out easy then it's not positioned right simple as that you just pull the radiator up a little bit try to pull it pull it down a little bit try to pull it and it should come out easy I thought it was gonna be hard but it wasn't um you don't need a special tool or anything um you gotta unplug the radiators and I'm gonna post this on YouTube and then I'm gonna actually put steps in the order that you should do it in <laughs> uh, but I don't have all the crap to deal with the AC that's why I left the condenser in and didn't just pull it all out at once because when you do that you gotta have it removed uh, the Freon removed refrigerant whatever removed by a shop or if you know how to do it right then you can do it but I don't feel like doing that and um obviously with this being the result funny story behind that but um with that being the result it's not drivable so I just basically got it to where I could take the radio out like I said I'm gonna post steps in the descriptive section and then, yeah. 
All right, the, these are where those lines go. Uh, it's like black clips, as you can see right here, a black clip on the inside of that. That's literally how it holds it on. Those two black things right here, right there, and right there. You, pry, if it focuses, you pry on the open end of that with a flat head, and then literally fling it out, and this radiator came with new ones. So, I don't have to find those old ones, which is awesome, because I have no clue where they are. And this is what those little clips on those trans cool lines look like. Like that. They might be circles or they might be like this. Same difference. You just take a flathead and it's three holes in this one. And you just push that in. And then as you push that in, this side starts to come out and then it basically flies out. Alright, and I started putting in there. I just... I took the fans out because it was hard to do with just one person and get the radio back in there. But um, I had to take the clip that came on the new radiator, this one. I basically had to take it off. You could probably make it work, but it was just being too, you know, too much extra. So I just took the clip off the old one. They're a little different and put it on there and then I tightened it. It doesn't move or anything, so that's one way you can make it work.